In 2023, we don't want businesses that are not that are underperforming. We only want businesses to be performing better and better. So if your business is not performing, tell us what is the reason? What do you think is the reason that your business is not performing? Because here we give you tips on how to make your business perform well. Mm -hmm. And if you're not if you feel I like I think I know the reason. What is the reason? They're not watching the videos. Ah. They are not subscribed. You are not, you are not subscribed to our that is why your business is not performing. Yes. Anyway, that being apart, mm -hmm. we are going to talk about five ways to grow your business in 2023. So in 2023, let's make sure that this business is started. Exactly. It has prospered. In Jesus' name, Amen. Forget about the other name of Allah. Amen. Allah <laughs> So um one way of expanding your business in 2023 is expanding your customer base. Mm -hmm. So if you have a business. Do not limit yourself to the customers that you have already. Mm -hmm. We need you to expand your customer base. And how do you do that? That is by diversifying in terms of going to social media to market your business. Yeah. And uh, doing partnerships, mm -hmm. doing campaigns. Yeah. Expand your customer base. Don't limit yourself to those customers that you already have. Mm -hmm. Because you have, other, you have other potential customers in maybe in your social media apps. And you don't know. Exactly. Yeah. And I think one of the best things that you can do as a business owner mm -hmm is to grow your customer base because customer means money the yes. more customers you the have more the money. money and mm -hmm. maybe some business owners don't know this but they think that the only the only place your customers exist is only physically mm -hmm. but there are people who are operating business online right, without yeah. even the physical customers mm -hmm. and they are doing better yes. than you yes. so why don't you double your customer you have physical customers and online customers and double your income yes Another way that we want you to grow your business in 2023 is by diversifying your product. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with makeup only, yeah. add uh, shoes, mm -hmm. a small lining of maybe business, fashion, fashion, dresses, you know, mm -hmm. add them. Uh, mm -hmm. don't, don't limit yourself. To, you diversify your product. Yeah. Don't limit yourself to one product. See that the product that uh, you can relate. Mm -hmm. If you have hardware, yeah. I'd add uh, installation services. If you have uh, another... Maybe you have a kinyosi. Kinyosi. Add salon wigs. Yes, salon wigs. <laughs> yeah. Add a salon on the side. Yes. This is the, that is how you diversify your product. Yeah. And that is how you go, grow your customer yeah. base. Because you get maybe a person comes to, to your hardware and they want a door. Mm. And they don't know how to fix. Yes. So if you offer installation services, if, if they buy the door mm. and you offer them installation services and yes. get extra money. Yes. And then number three, you need to improve your customer retention. Yeah. A happy customer always stays. Exactly. Keep it, keep that in mind. If you make your customers happy, trust me, they will never leave. You know, for me as a customer, I will not go to someone I don't know. I will always stay with the person if they yeah. deliver actually good products, quality products, legit products. Mm -hmm. If if I know that this person actually, if I buy that, you uh, will never. Uh, you know, how do we call it? Uh, asking for double price. For the amount overcharging. or they will never overcharge you. Yeah. I will be loyal to you. Mm -hmm. So always make sure that you improve your customer retention and that is by they will be very loyal to you and actually that falls to having excellent yeah. customer service. And I think one of the goals for customers is not like to buy a certain product today mm -hmm. here at this yeah. shop, tomorrow at this shop. Yes. They try to maintain one shop and if it, if they find that in your shop, mm -hmm. trust me they are going to stay in that business and yes. they are going to be buying from you every day. Another way that you can actually uh, grow your business in 2023 is optimize your operation. Mm -hmm. We have seen that there are new technologies that are coming, yeah. there are new trends that are coming. Why do you allow them to? Why are you being left behind? Mm -hmm. Chat GPT has come. How have you used it to grow your business? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can use tools like Chat GPT. People have to embrace these mm -hmm. new technologies yeah. rather than just you marketing your business at your church mm -hmm. on Sunday and telling people, but they have a new business, go tell your neighbor. Your neighbors come and buy. Hallelujah. <laughs> you see, <laughs> and I think there are very many things that are yeah, coming. Yeah, exactly. You need to optimize mm -hmm. your, your, your operations. Yeah. Make sure that nothing is really passing. Yeah, stay on toes. Stay on toes. Stay on the toes. Yeah. And then number five, mm -hmm. collaborate with other businesses. Yeah. Because uh, if you collaborate with other businesses, you're mixing customers. You never know. Yeah. Do campaign with others. Collaborate when it comes to marketing. Yeah. Collaborate with other businesses. Yeah. And yeah. It, it doesn't matter if it's a business that you're selling the same product. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say you have a hardware mm -hmm. and you have like, a, let's say, a supermarket. Mm -hmm. 
you can set I can you, I can even use your supermarket to market my hardware. For example, let's say people come to buy because supermarkets also have some products mm -hmm. that are hardware related. Yeah. For example, they come and maybe buy some doors. Mm -hmm. You can tell them maybe if they want some other type of door to come to that hardware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and I have even seen that, you know, when let's say they are, there is an event, mm -hmm. I have seen businesses actually going and uh, collaborating yeah. with the person with the event, mm -hmm. where they give, maybe they, like there's a day, I think, when I was back in campus, we used to have this culture week. Mm -hmm. I think when I say culture week, people <laughs> can actually tell me, yeah. actually, but the good thing is maybe campuses do culture week. So, uh, in such an, in, in our institution, when we're having that culture week, you would find that people like Indomie, they would come and uh, sponsor us. Mm -hmm. And that is how you find it. I would, I would actually, because these people from Indomie would come and cook the Indomie and then sell them, sell them to mm -hmm. us. To Even when I get out of that campus, I will still go to those yeah, yeah, so The Indomie so sweet, let me mm -hmm. go and get them and cook them myself. Yes, so that is how you find that people have actually partnered. Yeah. And that is how they are able to market. Mm -hmm. That is how they are able to grow, grow yeah. their customer base. That is how they are made, able to make their uh, businesses. Mm -hmm. Be, uh, the best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you'll mm -hmm. find that maybe two friends have businesses and they don't even partner. And mm -hmm. the two businesses are both su successful. Mm -hmm. And these people have a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of customers, and you are my friend. Mm -hmm. And we don't do we don't deal with the same business. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that my customers will at some point need your product, yes. and they don't know where they can get me. But I, I think. I think that is the issue where it comes to. Have you ever been in a tough situation where, mm -hmm. let's say, you are loyal to a certain Mamakibana, yeah. Mama <laughs> and then you, you find that, hey, Mamakibana actually has these tomatoes, oh, they're not yeah. that mm -hmm. good. They're not smiling. They're not smiling <laughs> to that me. And so you have you, that guilt mm -hmm. of walking from that Kibana to the other Kibana. Yeah. You feel like telling, hey, mm -hmm. I am still loyal. It's yeah. just that your tomatoes are not good. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. it's so the, they can say the partner, mm -hmm. so you get them. So you see, like, in that Mama Kibanda is wise. Mm -hmm. does, she doesn't have good nyanyas. She can always, because she knows how, they always know how much they buy. Yeah. She can always go and ask, give me five nyanyas. Mm -hmm. and we will talk later. Yeah, and exactly. then I will satisfy my customer. Mm -hmm. And that is how my customer will be retained. Yeah, yeah, yes. Exactly. So, yes, those are the five ways that you are going to grow your, to grow your business in 2023. 20, and if you follow these tips, I'll be sure there is, there is maybe one tip that will help you. And if you know of any other tips, that we have not talked about, leave it in the comment section. Tell us what other tips that, that can, can a person do in 2023 and make uh, and ensure that the business is always on top. Exactly. And if you want to invest in business skills, mm -hmm. you can enroll for a course at Finstock University College. They have very good courses about business, how to manage your business, mm -hmm. and how to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And at a very affordable price, and these courses are online, you can do them anywhere. So make sure you visit their website, mm -hmm. www.finstockuniversitycollege.com or email info at finstockuniversity.com. Mm -hmm. You can also call 0703-313-722. Yes. So that is it, guys. Uh, make sure at the end of this video you like, you comment and subscribe, Hit on the notification button so that every time you upload a new video, you can be notified. Until next time, bye. bye.